Hi, welcome to Wooden Stuff Workshop. The thing I'm going to do is try and get this weather vane finished for on top of the workshop. So join me in a second. So what I'm up to here, I've got these galvanised pieces that I've cut out with some tin snips. And what I use to uh, get the size of them is this, I made this plywood cockerel. As the plan was, I was going to do a wooden one. And then I thought, oh, it'd be better if I uh, put galvanised steel around it. Use this to mark round on the galvanised steel. Then I gave it a little bit extra so that I could uh, go round the edge a bit on this plywood. But, to tell you the truth, I've done a each side, a left and a right side for it. But I'm not sure whether the galvanised steel is going to meet up on the edges everywhere. It might in a lot of places, but there could be some places that it won't meet up. So what I'm doing at the minute is just using some of this 3M foil tape just to put on the edges so that when these meet up it doesn't look so obvious. So tape round the edges, get some tacks in here, carry on knocking this round the edge to lip over the edge and then put the other side on and uh, knock over that. This one's got a bit more of an overhang but I still don't know if it's going to meet up everywhere. And I've already made this here for, for it to sit on. So uh, let me show you, I'll just show you a closer look. So what I've made here is uh, the part for the weather vane to sit on. And I've used a bearing, bolt going through the bearing. And then I've got these screws, I've got, this is oak. I've got a slot through there knock the bearing in and I've got screws going through there pulling it up tight clamping the bearing and it lets all this uh, lets all that swivel on there and then this I've got the wood there but I've got a piece in there a metal piece and that's going to go onto the top of there and I might even epoxy that together but that's the plan hopefully uh, that will work lovely, it swivels nice there. I just put a few tacks in there where I've got it because there's four layers of ply there so the tacks don't come right through. There's only two layers of ply in this piece <coughs> and the ends are there. So I'm still thinking I might rivet all the way through these bits that where there's only two bits of ply straight through this bit of the metal straight through the other bit. But for a start Got another bargain from uh, Aldi. So these are some Parkside clamps that I got last week. <clears throat> and I'll just use these to clamp because them tacks are holding it in place. And then I'll just use these as well just to hold it while I knock around the edges. Let's get these clamped and try and bend it all round and then we can get the other side on. Well, 
Oops. Got to go. Back again. Yeah, put in a doorbell so that uh, the wife, if she needs anything, you know, instead of having to come out and find me in here, she could just press the just press the button in the house and then I can hear or if anybody comes that I need to see obviously nobody's coming at the minute but say there was a parcel or something she can press the button then I can go and fetch it so I'm just got all these clamped and I'm just going round the edges knocking them all in before I put the other side on that's the plan but I'm sticking you on time lapse because it's going to take quite a while to do this. What I'm doing is uh, just riveting both sides together then I can round knock them edges over. ages to do but it's okay now so all riveted on and knocked the edges over so it doesn't look too bad be all right when it's stuck up in the air when you can't see it properly so yeah that should be okay now so uh, yeah I've got a epoxy it onto there I think next I didn't realize I haven't got any epoxy glue so what I've got here is some uh, epoxy putty the stuff that you mix together so it has the grey around the outside and white in the middle there and then you just knead them together until it's all completely mixed I'm going to glue in my swivel part that I made into there with epoxy putty because all that's for is to stop so that the wind can't lift it off or anything. I don't think it will because uh, it weighs a bit now. But this will just make sure it's secure. So I'm just lining it up, trying to get it all nice and uh, vertical while it's set. Okay, we'll leave that to set overnight. So I'll see you in just a second. Right, it's a few days later. 
and uh, I'm having a job getting in my workshop because I've had a wood delivery. So I've got this to shift first. There's that and I've got some fence panels out the other side. The uh, This is going to be used for when I sort out the roof at this end when the weather gets nice. And this scaffolding board that's going to get chopped up and used for a tabletop for my daughter and her boyfriend. So I've got these to shift out of the way so I can get on and do stuff in here again. So yeah, I've made this. I did say that I wasn't going to bother having one because I wanted to keep it plain. But we'll see what it looks like. All it is, is a thick piece of hardwood. And uh, I've used a hole saw to cut the inside. Used a bandsaw around the outside to cut it out. I cut some slots into it with the bandsaw just going in slightly on there. So that I could make these letters up out of galvanised uh, tin and then fold the ends over and push them into the slots and then they're just uh, epoxied in because I finally found my op epoxy. So I've got them in there and then I've drilled four holes round the outside there and can sunk them. That's going to have screws through. So the idea is, got that and this before I put it up that'll go up there with some uh, screws in there ready and then I'm just going to turn it to north so I'll check out where this is going on there and then turn this do some screws up so that the north is pointing the right way and uh, the four screws going in should be able to hold it so I could take it I can remove it again or leave it there and the idea is for this to go up I'm thinking about on the workshop up here so up there can you see that yeah. Trying to sort out a wedge at the minute to uh, so I can wedge it straight up and get it nice and vertical that way. Because obviously I can uh, tip it that way to get it uh, straight up. But I'm going to have to use a wedge behind it to uh, get it straight up that way. So it wants to be just there. What I'll do, screw that back in so it holds it there and then I'll make a, another wedge that actually fits right behind it inside there and then I can take that top one out. I'm uh, a bit accident prone today. Just burnt my arm on the uh, 
wood burning stove door up here and I've got a cut I don't know if you can see that I haven't cut myself on uh, any of this galvanized steel there cut myself on getting in one of the cupboards oh got a helper yeah, I caught my hand on one of the uh, catches on the cupboard in the workshop. Right. Hello. So, let's put this. I've got it right way up. Yep. You'll be able to muck around with this, won't you? What do you think? Hmm? What do you think, Pussy Cat? Just check that again before I tighten it right up. Oh. And then I can put the screws in to uh, align these where we want them. Yeah, I like that. So when it gets even more weathered, it should look good. But when I do this roof at this end, it might get moved, but we'll see. But yeah, I like that. Right, thanks a lot for watching this quick video. I know it was a short one again, but I'm going to be back with you very shortly. I need to get all this stuff out of here so I can actually get on with some stuff in the workshop. So, thanks a lot for watching. If you like the video, if you could give us a thumbs up. If you haven't already subscribed, please click the subscribe button and follow along and uh, just check you might think you subscribed but you're actually not so you might be missing some of the videos if you wanted to see them so i'll see you soon take care